This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're on location demonstrating RF survey tasks using the BB60D real time spectrum analyzer to record data in the field for playback and analysis in the lab. Hello and welcome to Talking RF. This is Tom Lane from Signal Hound, and today we are field demoing the BB60D. The BB60D is a 9 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz real-time spectrum analyzer. It's one of our best values in test and measurement. At, at the form factor that it's in, this small form factor, it's really convenient to take out to the field. Uh, you can see with my setup, there's just, a, there's just a cable, my laptop, and an antenna. And that's really all I needed. It's, it's USB powered and real simple to bring out in the field. What I'm gonna do is just demo some basic spectrum monitoring, some basic survey work that I would potentially do out in the field. And I would typically come out in the field, set up, and then just do a sweep of the full span, just to kind of get a sense, what is it that I'm looking at? What's in what's in the area, um, and what might be in the area that's a that is of interest. So I've I've done that here with a, with a full sweep, and I can see there's quite a bit of activity up here at this location. We're pretty close to the airport. Um, there's a trim, we're at a great spot for FM broadcast, and that's not that interesting. But we're at a great spot for that. You notice that we're getting an IF overload, and that's because of our location and how um, how much we're really getting here in terms of um, in terms of RF energy okay so I just adjusted the reference level so that I can get rid of the IF overload and we'll just kind of move on with this demo so looking at that spectrum there's there's some interesting stuff I might I might I might just go and change the analysis mode and move over to the interference hunting mode and at the interference hunting mode I'll set the offset and then just take a look at the background and acquire a baseline on that background. So there we go. And you can see I, once I've acquired a baseline that there's some activity, there's some things happening in that space. Um, and it's just interesting. It's interesting data to have in the analysis mode when I'm just sort of monitoring what's, what's going on in this site that I've never been to before. So um, I wanna switch over though because I set up some LTE monitoring as well and I'll switch over to LTE mode and I'll want to do a scan of the LTE bands and see that we get up, see what we get up here. My expectation is that we'll get quite a bit up here, being um, high enough to, to and line of sight with a lot in the region. So I pre-configured a scan, which is always a good thing to do, uh, and I'll just go ahead and import that. And my scan, I, I just basically pre-configured a scan with a, with the first 27 um, LTE channels. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And that's quite a long scan. Um, you can create smaller scans, more relevant scans for the area that you're in. I just grabbed the first 27. And I'm going to go ahead and start that scan. And it'll take a minute or two for that scan to complete. But what it's doing is it's going through this list of LTE channels and um, looking for, um, for MIBs and SIBs, so looking to see what it can decode in that space um, and if there is anything in that space up here in this at this site. So that'll take a minute or two to um, work through. It's, found, it's already found one uh, channel. Let's see if there's any data that it was able to decode from that physical cell ID. Uh, there was no data um, re recorded from that. So we weren't able to decode anything out of that channel. Let it continue here, scanning through all of the channels that I had set up. All right, so it looks like it found only two up here, which is a little bit of a surprise. I was expecting to see more, but that's what we got. So 719.5 megahertz, and it was able to uh, decode some information from that one. It looks like it's an AT&T tower. So we're gonna tune to that, and um, then we're gonna just capture some data from that. So that was at 719.5 megahertz. We'll tune to that, and you can see in the waterfall that that is definitely um, some LTE activity going on there. So that's awesome. What I like to do when I go out and, and survey is grab data with the IQ recorder. So I'm just gonna grab some data tuned to this frequency, and um, we'll see 
So I can take that back to the office. I can then analyze it with other software. Besides Spike, I can do a little bit more work with that um, in the office. So this is 719 megahertz. I just put it in here, 719.5 megahertz. And we are 40 mega samples per second and 27 megahertz bandwidth. So I'm gonna record just for a couple minutes. I just need to get enough data in that recording so that I have some data to work with as I, um, as I take this apart in our next set of videos. So we'll get a few gigabytes of data here and a few more seconds of recording. All right, that should do it. So what you've seen, I just stopped. I took a few recordings from a, uh, from a couple of different places in a, a general um, spectrum overview or a, a test, as it were, um, with the BB60D. And the reason the BB60D is, a, is an amazing tool for survey work is because it's so, it, the form factor is perfect for that. It's a very small form factor. I don't need a lot of, a, a lot of pieces to make, to bring this all together, just an antennas and a few cables. I'm able to, with Spike, with, with the free software, just grab some signals, record some data, and then we'll be able to pair this up with, with a companion product, the VSG60. Back at the lab, we'll be able to do record and playback loops. We'll be able to analyze data using MATLAB, analyze data in uh, GNU radio. We'll be able to do a lot of processing of that data that we've recorded out in the field. And it all just comes together in a nice, a compact package that I can bring on site, I can run in my vehicle. It's just a very easy and convenient way to do um, survey work. Now that we've recorded the data using the BB60D, let's go back to the lab and analyze it using SignalHound's VSG60A Vector Signal Generator. Like, follow, and subscribe for part two of the RF surveying field demonstration.